I'm here with Ryan Binning, one of the owners of Sea Sport Boats in Bellingham, Washington. We're standing on the deck of the 2800 Commander, powered with twin 300 horsepower Mercury V8 outboards. A lot of history with sea sport boats here and of course you're you're synonymous with big saltwater boats now but you guys have been around since 1955 yeah. and started building smaller like 8 to 12 foot dinghies right yep selling them at sears uh in town the wright brothers and uh yeah. and his dad and working through it now yeah up to big saltwater boats all over the country gorgeous boats yeah. like this all up and down the west coast you mm -hmm. see them well in the midwest on the great lakes east coast are all over the place yep. now yep. and of course this is a dandy right here yeah this 28 footer Big space, a uh, lot of aft deck. Um, Got burning one everywhere. Mm -hmm. Big burning one. Uh, bait table here, workstation, live well. Yeah, live well. Storage, live well in here. You guys have kind of thought of everything. Just uh, kind of customize the boats to however anybody would like it. So that's your propane locker, propane cooktop. Yep, that's inside right. Inside there. Yeah. Diesel heat um, on the inside. Just yeah. Tons of storage and tons of space. And we've got side trays, salt water wash down. And you see the burner one mounts in here. If you're not familiar with these, if you've got downriggers, they've got a downrigger base and you can pop your downrigger out with the base on it, go throw it up in the bow or something. You're gonna go fishing, you just pop it right back in. They're rod holders, uh, they've got cleats, they've got all kinds of accessories that go on these things, uh, as well as these awesome uh, bait tables, workstations like this. And then the, the storage and the deck space back here. Yeah, pretty. This, this has got a nine foot, nine inch beam, right? Yep, and uh, just crazy amount of area to stick things in and out of. Uh, mm -hmm. We got, yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to give you an idea of this space down here, I'm six and a half feet tall. So uh, you've got all your rigging in here, got great access to all of your rigging, breakers, get your batteries in here, bilge pumps, everything is really easy to get, get to here, Ryan. Yeah, try to keep it clean. Uh, yeah. Take pride in, in uh, having everything exposed and be able to work on something if you have to. Yeah. Add to it. I love that. And then this fish box up here too is just massive. Yeah, check this out. We've got fenders in there, but look at the size of this. You can slide some giant halibut in there. Get some albacore beasts. tuna. You bet. Yeah, try to. And sometimes guys put freezer, add some power into it, whatever guys want to do. And again, just to give you an idea of size, look at this. I mean, talk about stacking some albacore in here, <laughs> about whatever you want. And mm -hmm. if you're overnighting, fill this thing with ice. Ice and, and food you can store and some fish. Yeah, whatever, whatever you want in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, stern steering station right here, Merc Controls joystick out back here. You got your fusion controls here. And of course we do have a, an aft electronics so that snaps right in here. Grab handle, we've got this nice cover in here to get out of the rain yeah. or the sun. Pretty necessary around here, good little For bit sure. of shade or whatever, yeah. Yeah, rocket launchers, really well thought out here. Speakers, grab handles, and you can get up on the side of this as well. Quite yeah, easily. Full walk around, yeah. Yeah. A little different than the 26, kind You've of got enclosed. Plenty of room to get up the side of this here, but there's a lot of room up here to put a dinghy or your crab pots, shrimp pots, uh, kayaks, mountain bikes, whatever you want up yep. there. Yep. Full bulkhead on this 2800. And uh, let's slide in here into the cabin. We've got a beautiful dinette with a teak table, cup holders. Space here for four people. I'll show you how this forward seat rotates around in a second. This drops down into a bunk or a day bed. You can see where your filler cushions would drop right in here. Storage absolutely everywhere inside this cabin. We've got storage here, storage back there. You know, we've got teak cabinets absolutely everywhere in here. So you got plenty of space to store your, your belongings. Oops, this is your double burner over here on the starboard side with a cutting surface on it. That's a propane stove. Look at all the storage down below. Large cabinet on this side. We don't need to open up all that, but you can kind of see it right there. Large sink in here. Hot and cold water, Corian countertop. Gorgeous in here, a lot of space, so two people can slide by each other. And uh, you can see how this seat back right here actually pulls out and rotates around quite easily. So, now your dinette turns into a spot 
for four people right there. Great place to have dinner or entertain, play some cards. Here's your fridge, cold libations, cold soda, whatever you want in there. And then let's go ahead and rotate this back again. And I'll show you how comfortable this passenger seating is on this side, right there. And look at the commanding view if you're a passenger. A table that pops up right there. Eat your breakfast out there after getting off, off the hook on that weekend adventure on your 2800. Let's space up here. Carpeted so your phone doesn't slide around. Slide into the helm seat now on this 2800 Commander. Forward leaning windshield. They really shed the water well, the rain well, and then they, there's just less glare on these forward leaning windshields. You see them a lot on Northwest boats here, especially saltwater boats of this size. Uh, adjustable wheel. You've got a large MFD in here. You've actually got room for two MFDs in here. You've got charging ports. This is your light controls, fusion stereo, more switches here, mercury gauge, VHF radio, uh, Bennett trim tabs, joystick, uh, throttle controls, key switches, cup holder right down here. And we've got this side window that opens up from the front so you can talk to somebody. You can pull up next to another boat, talk to somebody here. Maybe you're pulling to the fuel dock, need to talk to the attendant there. You can pull that window back and talk to them. Just a great setup here. And you'll notice this isn't an air ride either. This is a 10,000 pound boat, 22 degrees of dead rise in the stern, big deep entry, lots of flare. This boat can handle more than probably you or I can. And then check out the access to the quarter berth here. Look at this right here under the main aisleway. So if you want to drop gear or bags or anything in here, this is a great spot to do it. Let's go ahead and slide forward and we'll check out the head really quick. And then I'll show you the main access to that quarter berth. Here's your wet head right in here. Got your toilet, sink with your shower head, drain in the floor, plenty of room in there. And then with this access hatch right here to the quarter berth, again, you can store bags or gear down here, but this is a great spot to access this space. And I'll show you the main entry into this quarter berth. A couple of kids could easily sleep in here. Look at the space here with this and the dinette bunk and the V-berth up front. You've got room for as many as six people on this 2800 Commander. Now we're up in the spacious V-berth. Look how much room we have in here. I'm six and a half feet tall. And there's filler cushions that go right here. We took those out so we can show you the space. We've got storage up above here. All this is carpeted so you don't get any condensation in here when you're, you're sleeping up here on anchor. But look how much room we have. I got plenty of room in here to lie down. You could easily get two people up here with these filler cushions. Really great space. We've got plenty of lighting storage. We've got a hatch here if you want some, some fresh air, a little bit of natural light. We've got all of our breaker switches in here as well. Um, great space up here. Love the carpeting and all the storage pockets in here. All carpeted so your stuff doesn't slide around when you're up here. All right, Ryan, let's go ahead and get up on step and we'll show the, uh, the bow rise here. Twin 300 Mercury's and those Revolution 4 props, four blade props should just pop us right up. This is a lot of boat, 10,000 pounds, 22 degrees of dead rise, and look at that, we're right up on step, 26 miles an hour. Yeah, we're looking good there, Ryan, fuel economy wise. Look at, we got 30 miles an hour, 1.5 miles per gallon right there. It's a great economy for a boat of this size. Okay, Ryan, let's do a little cornering exercise. Okay. These outboards have adaptive speed control. So in a corner, in a steep turn, when it would typically fall off step, adaptive speed control kicks in, like right there, and keeps you in the turn. It Jeez. senses. It's so good. Uh, isn't that cool? Yeah, that's it's awesome. It senses that we want to lose RPMs, wow. and it applies just enough to get you around the corner. Let's go ahead and do a hard, hard port turn here, man. Okay. 22 degrees of dead rise. This boat just absolutely hooks up in these corners, you know. Yeah. You feel that? It's playing yeah. just enough throttle in awesome. the corner to yeah. get us around the corner there. Comes right back up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And it'll do the same thing on a big swell. Uh, you know how when you, you come up to a you come off one swell, come up to the next one, usually you've got to apply a little throttle there to get yeah. through it. It's doing it on its own. It'll just do it automatically. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Great technology. All right, Ryan, we're at 37 miles an hour. Let's just go ahead and mash the throttles, buddy. Get, Give it heck. get a top speed on this uh, 2800 Commander. And just like that, I mean, 44 miles an hour, 45, 46. There's 46 46? miles an hour. Yeah. 47 Seven. miles an hour yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. And we got great water here, of course, for a, a top speed test today. And that's about what you've gotten out of this yeah, that's pretty, seaport, right? pretty typical for, for our 28s here. Yeah. Uh, just bomb and stand on top and yeah. yeah, pretty good. And really we did that, you know, coming up on step there a lot of times with a boat with 22 degrees of dead rise, 
and a lot of weight and a lot of torque too out of those props. It'll tend to suck that stern down and, and kind of kick that bell up a little bit, but this thing popped right up. Yeah, quick, I you think know. some of that design over the years that the Wright brothers uh, had gone through, you know, yeah. the, the strengths and the everything that's kind of working together to yeah. pop it out of there. Well, you've got lifting strengths, it's got re reverse chine, a big white yeah. reverse chine on it as well. Yeah, for sure. uh, you're packing 300 gallons of fuel, yep, it's a great range, yep. 60 gallons of fresh water. 60 gallons of fresh water yeah. uh, helps on the aft deck doing mm -hmm. things, cleaning up, and uh, yeah, just lasts a long time. So know? nice having that fresh water to rinse your reels off. Yeah, you have, know? The, have the range to be out and staying out and about, not having to fill up, it's pretty sweet. Oh so. yeah, and I love the roof on this thing. That's got a lot of room for a big adventure rack on there, mountain bikes, kayaks. You yeah. can stack your crab pots and shrimp pots on there. And you know how it is when you're going camping for a week. Yeah. You know all the stuff you got. So. Well, yeah, we get a ton of folks just wanting to customize how they put that stuff together, organize yeah. canoes, like you said, paddle boards, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, pots, and then, yeah. Yeah, I use the boat all the time with family and friends to get out to the San Juans and get out yeah. to other islands to hang out and work together to have a good time. Good time, Ryan. Hey. Thanks, Great time on this 2800 Commander. How do folks get a sea trail on this boat? Because it's in the water all the time, Yeah, right? it's in the water. Uh, yeah, we'd love to have everybody out here. Um, Seasportboats.com um, should have everything on there. Dealer, dealer list, uh, contact information. Um, we're right on the water here in Bellingham Bay. So we'd love to have you guys down. We'd love to customize the boat, let you come out here and uh, bomb around with us uh, and ask for Greg, Michael, or myself. and. Uh, yeah, be awesome. Thank Thanks. you again for the time. Again, that's the 2800 Commander from Seasport Boats has been Live the Boat this week. Drop your comments and questions down below. We'll catch you next time.